Hey everybody, it's Matt with House Vacuums, and today we've got a SIBO ET1 here on the bench. Now, we've done videos that have tangentially kind of surrounded the uh, ET1, but I haven't done a separate video just about it, and I thought this might be helpful. So in case, we'll jump right into it and show you what's going on with this guy. So this particular unit, nothing bad is wrong with him. Um, the customer brought his machine in to be serviced. That is another video that we did with the K3 canister. But now we need to service this guy. So this is just going to be basic maintenance on one of these power nozzles. So the ET1's claim to fame is that you can, of course, remove the brush roll without tools by pressing on that tab, rotating out the end cap, and pulling this guy out. This brush roll is also cleanable, so if you get uh, if it gets nasty or dirty, you can throw this in the dishwasher if your wife will let you ask first. Um, but you can throw this in the dishwasher and it will clean up very nicely. Then of course you've got your uh, access for any clogs. And then on the other side here, of course, you've got your indicator showing whether you're too high, too low, or whether or not there's a brush obstruction. Also, this button right here turns the brush roll on and off for bare floors or carpets. And then you do have your height adjustment here as well, which is four different levels of height adjustment. One is really just designed for bare floor. I would never take it below two for most applications, including commercial carpet. Um, that's kind of my opinion. If we flip this over, very easy to get into. There are three screws for this little access plate. One, two, three. But before I do that, if you like this content, go ahead and give us a clickety clack of the like button. Helps us out a lot. Thanks. Notice that the one that is on the outside is longer, so just be aware of that. <clears throat> Taking this guy off, there's usually a little bit of gunk that gets caught in here, so we'll want to scrape that out. Then you can see that anywhere that there's a screw going in, and it's very obvious here on these shorter screws, there is a brass press fit bushing in here that is actually the threads for the screw, so you never have to worry about a metal screw going into a plastic housing and stripping out your threads. It is metal on metal, which is just, this to me is the absolute perfect proof that SIBO does things at a level that nobody else does. Um, you need look no further than the fact that they do metal on metal screw interfaces to show that they really care about the quality of their machines and the longevity. Now this piece will just pull out just like that. And to get the hood off, there are some additional screws. So we've got one, two, and three right here. In Germany, in case you were wondering, but at this point, if you've watched this channel for any amount of time, you should know that all of it's made in Germany. Made in Germany. This little cheap piece of plastic that they could have made in China and just shipped to Germany for assembly. Made in Germany. All right, now we've got the motor, which is a very nice motor. This is a both powerful and uh, quiet motor as well and part of the quietness comes in with how thick the plastic is you can see how thick this structural plastic is and even on this piece it's just very beefy um, so that helps lend to the quietness but it is also just a very well balanced and well manufactured motor as well there's not really a whole lot to do in here. The motor looks very clean. Um, if I look at the carbon brushes down through here, um, it's looking fine. There's no burning, no issues there. I can see the carbon brush right here, meaning that the length on these is fine. So again, don't get in and mess with carbon brushes unless you need to. Um, in this case, we can see that they're burning cleanly and that they have plenty of length left. We're going to leave it alone. 
All right, so what we wanna do is just basically clean around this. Be careful of the circuit board. I don't want to mess that up. All right, so we're just gonna pull this out so we can back under here just a little bit. Be careful. All right, that's looking very good. <clears throat> I also wanna look here at the motor shaft and see if there's any hair wrapped around it, and there is not. So these have very good bearings on them. There's no reason to get into them if they're turning smoothly, and this one certainly is. So belt, there are no chunks out of it that I can see. Come all the way around. Belt looks perfect. So we're in good shape there. That is really all we need to do. We just wanna keep dirt from building up in here and causing issues. You can see how much it built up over the period of a year. This guy services his machines yearly. And, um, and so we just don't want that to affect the longevity of the machine. The cleaner we can keep this, the longer it will last. There'll be less issues with electronics, heat buildup, etc as long as you keep that clean. So now we're gonna go ahead and clean this up again. This is just dust, it's nothing that we have to wash. This is all coming off with the brush. So that's looking very good, 100% there. So that's really all that we have to do underneath here. If you run into more issues than that, you really should take it to a dealer. I would take it to a dealer before going this far, but if you want to clean this out yourself, it is certainly doable. Do not do this though while the machine's under warranty. If the machine's under warranty, take it to your dealer. All right. So now this screw, this screw, and this screw will hold down the nozzle. This one also is a retention screw, but that needs to go on with this piece. So that'll be part of our last assembly. You know, vacuum to damp entryway at some point. There's some grime, some, some uh, uh, grease around these metal posts. So we're gonna get in here and just scrub this out real quick. Now, the last thing that we want to do is check right here for any debris. There is one little thing here. Looks like a little piece of fuzz or something. Now, if there is hair binding around this, you can take this out. Once you've taken the belt off the motor shaft, you can just pull this piece through. In this case, there's no other debris, so there's no reason for us to go further. This is captured captive by that spring, but I'm gonna hold the spring with my finger. Vacuum this off. And to make sure this springs back, there is a little tab right here. And I'm gonna make sure that I put that in here. All right, so tab is right there. 
right there. And now we're gonna throw this guy on here. Two little prongs, they go in first, just like that, and then it rotates down into place. This holds that captive. So we're gonna go ahead and throw the screws on. This is the long screw, remember, that goes down and keeps the, um, the hood captive. All right. <clears throat> so now we're gonna use the vacuum tech's best friend, the hook, to go down here and just tear all this off. Don't even need to use a knife. both sides and then it'll be loose. We've got some dirt and hair down inside here, and that just pulls out with the hook as well. No problemo. I'm gonna suck the rest of this out. The dust came off this no problem and now I'm just going to put one single drop of oil in here. That's all that it takes. There we go. That is just enough. Don't want too much. Shove that back in here. That's super clean. All right. All right. So we're pretty much good to go on this guy. We're going to give him a quick coat of wax. Okay, hit some wax on the back. This lip likes to accumulate dust. Now for top side. And again, I've said it before, on SIBO machines, my preference is anything but the black color. The black tends to show scratches pretty readily. The K3, which this came off of, comes in um, black, white, or red. White or red tends to show less dust and less scratches. So there you have it. That's how to service an ET1 powerhead and just to you know, show how well it's made. Very solid unit. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.